Detta avsnitt av BSTV sponsras av Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Get in there, my son. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm fed up with sitting here. Shall we do? What about filming something? Trevor, just found something. Look, I've got glasses in my hand. Look. Yeah, but they're not twirly. Oh, a little bit twirly. A little twirly. Trevor, are we on? Are we? Red light. Is the red light on? Red light. In that case, we're on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Beer Sweden Television. It's TV still, Trev, what we do. You haven't actually asked me that for a long time. I know, so and that's what I thought I'd ask you. I'm not sure any... It happened since the last time. Well, I'm not sure if any new legislation has come in that has, you know... Well, there is. EU. Oh. You know the EU? Yeah. Yeah? They do this stuff all the time. They change stuff. So we, we might not be telling with... anymore. Huh? We, we might, might not be telling. There might be something like interweb, or uh, it could be some sort of. Um... Oh, I've always been interweb. Oh, have we? Yeah. Okay, that hasn't changed. No, that hasn't changed. Okay, good. Bernard, what's his face? Um... Manning. No. 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 Bernard. Um, the English Matthews? English fellow who invented the internet. What's his name? Oh, Bernard. Um, Bernard. Bernard Matthews was a turkey guy, wasn't he? Um, uh, I should know that. You I'm, should know that really. I'm that's a geek. Your, that's your. He was in, uh, in the Olympics, did he? Bob? That's, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Just to say, should we, should we, I think so we stick to the beer. Talking about, you know, telly, internet, let's go straight over to branding. Trev loved it, very nice segue. Uh, I remember last time... What do you mean, what's, what's a segue? That means segue away. Last time we were talking in the past, uh, we were talking... Which about, might have been the future. <laughs> we were talking about branding, how important it is to... Uh, Hang on a minute. We're still, we're still building. Father-in-law. We're still ish. building in the, uh, ish, in, in the studio here. Um, last time we were uh, we were talking about branding, weren't we, Trevor? And it was very important. We were saying, um, you know, to have good recall, wasn't it? Good yeah. Recall. That's yeah. what people are after. Uh, I don't think there's a better example of it in the Swedish craft beer scene than our good friends down in Gothenburg, Dukes. Uh, I think they have an amazingly clever, quite graphic. You can absolutely uh, see it straight away, do you, yeah, regardless very, of colour. Or... Yeah. Very graphic approach to their labelling. Uh, very, uh, like Turn the bottle a little bit to your left in your hand. No, 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 not spin. T- <laughs> no, rotate left. I love this. Left, trip. silly soft. Left, left. But that is my left, Trev. No, it's not. Right, stop there. There we've got the word do Okay, you've got it all there. Yeah. And then we've got the sunshine. Yeah, and, and yeah. they've got this very, they've got this very, um, very graphic, sort of very pastel colours, very kind of, as I would imagine, kind of. Florida, Miami kind of vibe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get that? Yeah, you've yeah. said that before and it's true. Yeah, the, it true um, it? Because I'm right most of the time, Trevor, that's right. Well, I don't know about that. Um, I wonder anyway. if they've got a graphic department or just some bloke knocks one up, knocks it up on the computer. Knocks one out, did you say? <laughs> knocks one out. Okay, anyway, look, moving you on. You actually said Pos- that I did. Posk Lager, uh, a 6% lager, which I understand is slightly darker. Now, Trev, can you see I've got glasses on? It doesn't matter. I can't read this stuff on the back of this thing. It's tiny. Plus, it's about goddesses and all sorts of strange stuff, isn't it? Not about the beer. I don't know well, I, I read it and there was some words in there that I, who've lived in Sweden for yonks... Yeah, you've lived a long time, so if you, go, if you don't understand them, I don't understand them. I understand but, them, just I didn't, I didn't recognise them that well. Suffice to say, Trev... I didn't know that Easter was a goddess, did suffi- you? Easter's a goddess? That's what it says on there. Oh, well, I'm not... Really? Hmm. OK. Uh, really? I'm not sure if it's a Norse goddess or... or... Oh, right, one of those. OK, like, not a real one, then. Well, I think Loki and Tool like are a pretty... Marvel one. Is that a Marvel one? <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Before, in case there are any heretics out there, they're going to kill me now. All um, views expressed by Darren on this channel... Oh, Trevs. Um, anyway, um, if we go past the all of that, uh, I can see the ingredients, just, and it says, Trev, it says, contains barley, hops, malt, yeast. That's oh, thank good. you very much. That's helpful. Yeah, it's quite helpful. And I would actually, uh, I would actually question that because I, and I know. Let's people, strongly encourage. Uh, as a consumer, I would, because because oh, no, yeah. as as a geek or a nerd or, or whatever I am. Um, as I'll tell you what I do do. I, when when I do, I do a lot of beer tours, Trev. You, know, you I said do do. <laughs> it's like that. Do we try a beer called that? Don't we? Yeah. Um, I do travel around the country a lot and do a lot of beer tours, don't I? And I talk to hundreds of people about yeah. craft beer, craft beer in particular. And a, a, a very, very, uh, very, very common question that they ask at the end of every tour, I always say, like, hit me, give me, you know, 
Well, whatever you want to know. And they said, why don't brewers, you're here trying to tell us and educate us and inform us about beer, why don't brewers put, as a matter of routine, the ingredients on the label so that we can to learn more about the beer? Perfectly sensible question, Trev. Absolutely. Perfectly sensible question. And I don't understand it because craft beer in particular, really one of its USPs, Trev, one of its unique selling points. Absolutely. It's the fact that you put lots of good stuff in. So why not shout it from and the top? Yeah, exactly. So if you're doing all this good stuff, because oh, seriously, in all honesty, no disrespect meant, but probably taken, who gives a monkey's what's in a Spendrips beer, really, right? Mm -hmm. But if somebody actually takes their time, goes out of their way to choose a craft beer, they want to know what's going, they've taken a bit of extra time and interest, they want to know what's in it, don't they? You're making a lot of sense to me, Trev, you're making a lot of sense to me. Look, it doesn't look like a lager, does it? No, it doesn't at all, hold it up. It doesn't look like a lager, not what you expect really when it comes over. Well, this hair is dark, I didn't think it was going to be this dark, look at no, it. I mean, look at that. It's really, really dark. A lot of head and all. I'll tell you what, look at that wall action, Trev, that's pretty clever, isn't it? That's a I'm good, not some touch of a that's a good glass, that. I'm, that's a good, I'm going to keep this one. What do you mean that's spent, we've forgotten about that one. Anyway, listen. I'm surprised at the colour of this one. This is not as I expected it to be when it came out of the bottle. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised at the price of the I like it. It is very dark. It's ale-like colour. I wouldn't have said I wouldn't have spotted this being a lager from a mile off. I would have I would have I would have put money in the bank that this was some sort of ale. When you smell it, you're getting um, really nice, actually creamy um, nutmeg chestnuts. Um, yeah, really kind of nutty um, characteristic to this beer. A um, little bit of very light chocolate background. Um, it smells really good, Trev. Oh, and um, uh, crisp bread. Lots of crisp bread. Yeah. Lovely head to it, sticking down the side of the glass, loving it. Have you ever actually eaten, tasted, eaten a chestnut? Because I haven't. Haven't you? Chestnuts oh, yeah. roasting on an open fire. Um, love it. Okay. I and I know that you're going to go all sort of like weak need at this one. Because you think so? Mm, it's got some... It's, well, I love Douglas. It's a lager, but I'll tell you what. So I'm predisposed to like you it. You are, you are, you are. Uh, it's a lager, but you wouldn't know it. Um, it is, uh, it, to me, it's got very strong ale connotations to it. Um, it is, it's roasted, it's nutty, it's British. Really? Yeah, you know, we get a lot of American hops all the time. We're getting bombarded by all these grapefruit. Would you, what, as to the guess, what do you reckon hop, you reckon English hops in now? I don't know, actually. No, I, I, I wouldn't know because it's not written on the label, see? Yeah, but I mean, you're not getting a tang in the tongue. I'm, not, get, the I'm not getting that. I'm getting, I am actually getting some, 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 some fruit in there and not the sort of estuary, um, fruity, yeasty uh, British vibes. Right. So it might well be something. Not gold but, but, but there's there's some definitely some. I, I would say some British hops in here. But um, certainly the entire effect of it is quite. British well, you know character. what I should do to check. I really like it, Trev. It really might like be one. written on the inside of the bottom of the bottle. So if I. So if you drink, well, yeah. get the bottom. Below. So next time we can tell them, can't we? Trev, I like what you're thinking. Right. I like what you're thinking. Uh, listen, I'm going to... Let's give this a rating. Trev, I haven't done this for a long time. Yeah, but forget all that. We're past that. We're too good for that yeah, now. Yeah, broke the nail. Well, the Olympics has been through, and, and since that, your, your clicks have been, uh, to be quite candid, weak. <laughs> I mean, have you seriously, have you seen Jessica Ennis run, I mean? Have you seen her run? Jessica Ennis? <laughs> Have. Where, we've gone off track now, Trev. Where are we? I don't know where that came where from. Doogies, doogies, doogies. Doogies. This, nice. Click, thunder. Rating. Score. Rating. I'm going to go high on this one, Trev. I like it. I really like it. I reckon you're going to give that a 4.5. Really, we do quite a lot. Of, well, we actually we don't do a lot of reviews, but we are, we are getting better. Often I take a little sip and that's it, we move on. I want to keep this bottle, Trev. I actually don't want to give it to And the worst of it is you're driving and I'm going to drink I it. I know, and I can't have it any more than a tiny, minuscule little thing. We never I kiss later. More. I want. I want more. I don't want more of that. It's delicious. It is, it is balanced, Trev. It's balanced. Uh, I'm going to go 4.4 on this, Trev. Straight out there, 4.4. Absolutely love it. You're going okay, to nice it. one. Um, it just goes with everything. This will go with pork, this will go with lamb, um, this will go with cheese. Um, I, uh, it's a very balanced beer from Doogies. I've done it again, I think. You know, they're not maybe the most spectacular, and they're certainly not the most um, uh, they're sort of headline stealing uh, craft brewery, I don't think, do you? But, but they are, what they do, and obviously I had a little blip there with the new brewery coming in and the equipment and a few malfunctions and so on, but they settled down. I'll tell you what, this 
If it's going to be like oh, this yeah, from now, on, that. Uh, remember is, that. Yeah. If it's going to be like this from now, and we've got some good years ahead with Doogie's, looking forward to it. There nice one. Four point four. Until next time, everyone. Cheers and beers.